Hello folks, it's Todd coming at you from the cellar of Vermont Wine Media. It is uh, summertime in Vermont, although it sure as heck still feels like springtime the way the rain's been coming down. Uh, I've had to do some rearranging here because the uh, water has just been pushing in through the cellar walls. It's an old dry laid cellar that we've done pointing work on, but uh, it's it's been humid down here to say the least, and so we're having to do some mitigation issues, and that means rearranging some racks and moving things around and hopefully improving the situation a bit. Um, I found something at the store that I thought I'd like to check out just for fun. Um, wine in a can. Or actually, not really wine in a can. This is sangria in a can. Maybe some people would think that's a little bit more acceptable. But this is from uh, Friends Just Wine Sangria. We've got a red and a white. Uh, it's imported through Miami, Florida, but is canned in Austria. So I'm kind of curious as to see what uh, these are like. Um, I like sangria in the summertime. Um, you know, generally I think it's the kind of thing that you can make yourself. And it's actually a lot of fun to take a crack at it. It's really hard to go completely wrong. Um, a red, Rojo, Bianco. I'm not going to read. There is an ingredients list, and I don't know if that's because they're just being uh, transparent or if it's because. Uh, it's a wine beverage and therefore needs to show that information. Give the white a shot. <sighs> Extremely tropical. Guava, pineapple. Kind of fake citrus. Reminds me a little bit of those um, early Bartles and James wine coolers. Not even as good as a Bartles and James wine cooler. I think I'd rather have one of those. Maybe I have to try one of those in comparison. It's not great. It's like uh, lightly spiked Kool-Aid. Mm. This wasn't white. My eyes were closed. I think it was Hawaiian Punch. It's not offensive, but it's definitely not super exciting. It's too bad. I kind of I tend to like white sangria better than red. It smells a little richer. It's actually got kind of like uh, somewhat va vanilla notes, which I mean maybe the wine spent some time in oak. Again, that fruit punchiness coming through, kind of like the big punch bowl at a at the prom. Of course, that might mean there's more alcohol in it than expected. Still, definitely the Hawaiian punch, a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say tannins, but fruit skin tartness, a little bit pomegranate-y, um, high C. Boy, this is bringing back memories, because high C is a little different than your Hawaiian punch, and this is definitely more like the high C. 
I don't know, I'd say both of these, serviceable. I mean, they were $2.50 a can for, what is it, the 8 ounces, 250 milliliters. So, at 250 mils, that's a third of a bottle of wine. So, it's not super expensive, really, but 6% alcohol, it's pretty much watered down. Um, red wine, water, sugar, tartaric acid, lemon flavors, orange flavors, citric acid, ascorbic acid, metabisulfite, and cinnamon flavor. Cinnamon, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, <clears throat> my verdict is... I, if I had to, if I was faced with one of these things, I'd probably want to add some more fruit juice or something else to it myself anyways to give it some pizzazz. I'd say at this rate, you're better off forsaking the alternative packaging and making some sangria of your own and putting it in a plastic container to take to uh, whatever event you're going to attend. Weird. Make your own sangria.